Hello everyone, Charles here to share with you about excellent Asian films. Today I want to recommend the Japanese film Like Father Like Son, which was released in 2013 and directed by Hirokazu Koreeda. Ryota works for a large construction company. He has been married to his wife Midori for many years and they have a smart and well-behaved son, Keita. However, a phone call from the hospital where Keita was born shatters the family's peaceful life. On the phone, the hospital informs them that Keita is not their child, but the child of Yukari, whose eldest son Ryusei is actually their biological son. It turns out that a nurse switched them at birth. The two families, who have never seen each other before, follow the hospital's advice and meet at the mall, deciding to let both children get well acquainted with each other's families. Ryota observes the Yukari family and realizes that Ryusei and the Yukari family live a very different lifestyle than him. The two families decide to let their children stay at each other's homes for one day each weekend to get used to the other family. Keita has never seen such a small home, but it's his first time playing with so many children. He also has a lot of fun watching Yukari fix his toy car. Ryusei, on the other hand, has never seen such a large room and thought Ryota's home looked just like a hotel. He looks out the floor to ceiling windows at the cityscape and plays video games, while Midori watches him from the side, not able to find anything to say to him. Ryusei is obviously bored and wishes to go home early. After some negotiation between the two families, the two six-year-olds are swapped back to their biological parents. The day before the swap, Ryota takes Keita to the park for the first time in a long time and gives Keita a camera as a gift, but Keita refuses it. Keita takes living with the Yukari as a task given to him by his father, but he can't help but miss his family in the quiet of the night. On the other side, Ryusei is also completely uncomfortable with the various rules that Ryota has set for him, not to mention his reluctance to play the piano. For Ryota, reuniting with his own flesh and blood does not bring him the satisfaction he had imagined, and he even feels a bit lost. One late afternoon, Ryusei chooses to flee, catching the subway alone and returning to what he sees as his true home. Ryota and Midori immediately retrieve him and begin to slowly learn to accept this mischievous child. They play games with him, fish on the balcony, and camp in the living room. Three of them lie down together and look up at the stars in the night sky, but as the shooting stars pass by, Ryusei makes a wish to go back to his mom and dad. The family seems to be slowly becoming an actual family, but it is only a family by blood, and Ryusei's wish is still to return to his mom and dad. When Ryota sees the pictures Keita had secretly taken of him with a camera, his eyes are blurred with tears from the warmth, shock, and guilt that filled his heart. He and Midori took Ryusei back to Yukari's house, and Keita, who felt betrayed, returned to his father's arms. This movie invites us to think about a question. Is bloodline or kinship more important? Only genes are inherited by bloodline, while the love of family members can only be slowly accumulated and cultivated with time. The friction between parents and children, the conflict between husband and wife, and the clash of ideas between family members due to personal situations and experiences, these are all parts of a family and parts of their love. The conditions to become a family do not need rules and regulations. Family is a genuine smile, the ability to tolerate bad tempers, unending support, being a pillar that they can rely on in hardships. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.